Hey guys. Well, it's been three years since Chester has passed. But for my birthday, my sister got me this really awesome shirt. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. It's super cool, Chester. And she also got me this CD, which has a DVD in it, which is awesome. I've got like two other DVDs. Um, something about a festival, pancake festival or something. And then I've got one that came with my um, Minutes to Midnight, which is pretty cool because it's got I think it's got one music video on it and then it's got some interviews and stuff so it's it's awesome well goodness I can't three years and I'm still sad I mean gosh why did you have to do what you did I mean I can't judge I'm not in that person's shoes don't know what was going on in their mind Sometimes I wonder if it was like um, an accident, a mistake, you know. Well, of course, you know, it was a mistake, but people go through these things and you don't know, you know, what's going on in their head, what drives them to that force to do what they do. His friend had just killed himself uh, maybe a month or so earlier or you know it hadn't even been that long since he had passed away Chris Cornell and then this happened and I was I could not believe it I remember I was at work um, I was just getting off work when I saw the news and I didn't want to believe it was true I just didn't but it was on every page on Facebook every news story and I was like because I was hoping it was just a joke or something, but it was real. So, Lincoln Park is probably, as you all know now, is my one of my all-time favorite bands besides the Beatles. I mean, <laughs> go from the Beatles to Lincoln Park. I'm a little bit weird, yeah. I mean, I don't have that many all-time favorite bands that I absolutely just follow and must have every single CD. I've got about 12 Linkin Park CDs. Um, I got Hybrid Theory, Reanimation, Meteora, Live in Texas, Minutes to Midnight, this one, Road to Revolution, A Thousand Suns, Living Things, Recharge, The Hunting Party, and One More Light. And I've also got, I think it's Songs from the Underground or something. Um, I would really love to have um, Zero, which is actually pre-Chester. Um, I think it was Mike and two of the other guys, maybe Brad and Rob. I'm, I'm not for sure, but Mike and two of the other guys and Mark somebody, I don't even know the dude's name, was the singer, which it's not bad. I've heard bits of it. It's not bad. It's the same songs as pretty much what's on Hybrid Theory, but, you know, with a different singer and maybe some of the words are different. And, of course, all the songs have different names, so it's not the names that are on Hybrid Theory, which, you know, they do that a lot. When they... I wanted to be in the Lincoln Park Fan Club because they would have these LP Underground CDs or downloads that they would send out as being a member and of course it would always be the stuff that was going to be on a lot of it would be stuff that was going to be on the album but it have different names of the working title they were working with at the moment and you know words would be different and stuff the beat might be a little bit different but it was always cool so i would love to collect all those albums all the lp underground albums and, of course, I want the Jay-Z and Lincoln Park Collision Course album. You know, if I ever come across that, I'm getting that one. <laughs> Just to have part of my collection, you know? So, and Lincoln Park has, you know, they had a good run. 
2000, 2017, that was a pretty good run, you know, could have went longer because they had a lot more in them, and I'm still hoping that maybe they could get together, the rest of the group, I would love to see them back together again to do something, some album, I mean, Mike is doing good, I love Mike Shinoda, he's already put out, I want to say he put out one album that I really love, and I think he just released another album that's just like music, which I need to check that out. It might be good. I like his stuff. Um, but if they could get back together just for a little bit, you know. I know I had seen an interview where Mike said it was, they had asked him if he listened to um, some of Chester's music from another band and he couldn't he said it was it was too hard he can't even listen to the Lincoln Park stuff so I mean I know it's hard how do you move forward from that in a way I would just think you know you get the band back together you make new songs you go on tour with your new songs I mean, you could throw in a couple of the old songs and have the fans sing them like they always do. You know, it wouldn't be too bad. It would hurt, but, you know, you gotta go for it. <laughs> I don't know. I just miss them. Just miss the band. But they had an awesome career, you know, and they were featured in several movies. Um, they were in... The Twi they had a song on the Twilight movie. Leave Out All the Rest was on the Twilight movie. Underworld Awakening had the Blackout song. Um, the Matrix Reloaded had Session. Uh, Transformers. Three Transformer movies with three Lincoln Park songs. I mean, that... The last two movies with Mark Wahlberg didn't have a Lincoln Park song. And I'm just like... You're a Transformer movie. you got to have a Lincoln Park song now. I mean, the first three had a Lincoln Park song. So, Transformers, what I've done. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen had New Divide. And Transformers Dark of the Moon had Iridescent. And, like, I love all those songs. And that's pretty awesome. And I forgot what song was. I looked this up just the other day, me and my sister. There's a song also on Valentine. I love that, that movie with uh, David Boreanaz. Uh, that, that's a pretty good movie. And, yeah, Lincoln Park has a song on that. So, that, you know, that soundtrack, bonus points. <laughs> so, there's a lot of songs that I would put on my playlist. I mean, I'm constantly doing Lincoln Park playlists. And there's just a lot uh, that I would add all the time. Um, from Hybrid Theory, I'm always doing Crawling and Paper Cut. Those Hybrid Theory and Meteoria are like my, were like awesome albums. Hybrid Theory, I used to listen to every night before I went to bed. Just, it was an awesome album. And I would probably put every single one of those tracks on a playlist and you know, Meteora, um, Numb, and From the Inside are two of my favorites. Uh, Reanimation, High Voltage, Crawling, My December, which is, was on the DVD I had. Something Festival of Pancake Festival. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out what that <laughs> DVD was. But anyways, it was an awesome DVD that my sister got. And no Maybe I bought it. Anyways, I think I might have bought it back in the mall. Because back then they used to have stuff in the mall. And now we ain't got nothing. There is no DVD stores whatsoever. So we used to have some stuff back in the day. And I think I got that there. And it had high voltage in my December on it. Like it didn't have like, like any kind of video or anything for it. It was just like said the song and it just played it. But I really, really loved it. And yeah, definitely. So there's just so, so many. But Minutes to Midnight, 
was the first album that <laughs> at first I did not like because it was such a drastic change from what they normally did on the first three albums and I couldn't I couldn't get into it but then I finally fell in love with it and my favorite songs are Shadow of the Day, Hands Held High, uh, The Little Things Give You Away. Those are like three of the favorite ones on that CD. A Thousand Sons CD. Um, <laughs> I absolutely loved that CD. Like it was just as soon as I got it, it was the best thing ever. I, every time I got a Linkin Park CD, I was always excited. But the songs I love the most on there are When They Come For Me, Waiting For The End, Iridescent, The Catalyst, and Blackout. Um, from the Living Things album, my favorites are Burn It Down and Castle of Glass. Uh, from the Recharged album, A Light That Never Comes and I'll Be Gone. From the Hunting Party, Until It's Gone and Final Masquerade. And One More Light, of course, One More Light is a favorite. Heavy is a favorite. Um, talking to Myself and Sharp Edges, I have to say, while everybody hated this album, um, I've always been kind of a, a pop girl and a rock girl. So this album was just perfect for me, you know. Everybody was like, yeah, it's just generic pop, whatever. But there was like this something inside me that just went off and I fell in love with this album just as much as I fell in love with Hybrid Theory and I would listen to it every day and then you know not too long after that you know Chester had to freaking die so but I love how the band just always experiments they don't stay with one sound throughout their whole career. They just always wanted to grow and learn and try new things and develop them, their style and just, you know, go. Just go, go, go. You know, they didn't want to be like Nickelback. You know, Nickelback, all their songs sound the same. Don't get me wrong. I love some Nickelback. But every single song is pretty much the same and sounds the same. I just love how Linkin Park was constantly expanding and changing and just trying to break barriers with their sound. I mean, they came out right out the gate as something new and fresh and different, you know? And it was just amazing. And I'm really sad that that's, you know, over with. I still have Mike to fall back on, but it's just, it's, it's sad. And I've... I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there that I can explore and go and just see because Chester was in a couple other bands um, and there's music there that I can go and find. There's just a lot of stuff. And plus, you know, you always got remixes. Um, one of my favorite remixes is the Numb song, but it's in an 80s style and that's kind of fun. So, I really like that. Um, yeah, there's just so much that's out there that I can go and find and just... That's the power of YouTube, baby! Yeah. <laughs> there's so much on there and it's... It's awesome, you know. So much to experience. But yeah, there's a lot of songs and there are a few that are not like mainly Linkin Park songs, which I know the, the Jay-Z and Linkin Park Numb Encore, um, I really like that one, and I want that Collision Course album, um, but there was a Steve, I don't know how you pronounce his name, Aoki, which is featuring Linkin Park, Darker Than Blood, I love that song, it's always a go-to song for me. Um, and Executioners featuring Linkin Park, It's Going Down. And also Buster Rhymes featuring Linkin Park, We Made It. Those are some really awesome. I just, I don't know. One day, maybe the rest of the gang will get back together and I can be happy about that. 
But for now, I will follow Mike Shinoda and see what he has in store for me. And hopefully wherever you are, Chester, you are screaming for them folks up there, down there, wherever. Just, yeah. Nah. I miss him. I love my shirt. It's an awesome shirt. Anyways. I probably rambled on enough, but yes, I love Lincoln Park, and one day, maybe the rest of them will get back together, and I can be really happy about that, but until then, um, do you like Lincoln Park? Um, what's your favorite song? Because I have a lot of them, basically every single album, uh, <laughs> and what I don't have, I will eventually have, because I am determined to get every single Linkin Park song there is. Yep. I'm gonna have it all. Anyways, have a nice night.